This video is sponsored by Intel. Welcome to phase two of the Intel Extreme Rig Challenge. My name is Wallace and I'm here with... Ron. <laughs> that was a crazy introduction. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're excited to be with you. Um, excited that you're watching the video. Excited that you're participating in the challenge. So uh, this is the phase two, like I said, and we're here to discuss today uh, two main components of the build. What do we have here, Ron? Yeah, so uh, we're doing our video a little bit differently this time, and this week we're going to focus on the CPU and the cooling that's going to go into this. So I think it would be really cool to start with the with the processor, Intel's featured part for, for this. So, and, and I got to say, though, everything is pretty extreme. <laughs> it is very extreme. <laughs> so Intel uh, gifted us a 7980XE uh, for this. And, uh, and, and what, let's talk a bit about it. 18 cores. Crazy amount of processing power. How many threads, Ron? 36 threads, 18 times 2. I was just making sure you can do your math. <laughs> I can do math. So 36 threads, that's an extreme amount of threads. Uh, I mean, you can play a game, live stream, uh, do your homework. Make a task. And everything at the same time. So, I mean, Intel, they've been uh, kind enough to actually gift us this processor for this build. Absolutely. So uh, the 7980XE, like Wallace mentioned, is 18 cores, 36 threads. Uh, it features 44 PCI Express lanes for maximum expansion. Uh, Intel's new Turbo Boost, Turbo Boost 3.0 technology that basically brings the two best cores up to a much higher clock speed. Uh, and what I'd like to talk about with this processor is just how uh, tremendous it is that we have such a high core count CPU that hits really, really good clock speeds. Now, we're going to talk about cooling later, but one of the big things that we're going to do and why we have all this liquid cooling is so that we can overclock this processor and make it as extreme as possible. I mean, Intel alone already has Turbo Boost, which automatically overclocks the processor. We're going to take it a step further than that, yep. right? We're going to overclock it ourselves. And, uh, you know, the enemy in overclocking is heat, heat right? And that's where Minger comes in. Uh, we designed the world's best cooling systems today, and a lot of it is designed in-house. We're going to talk about Apex and uh, all the intricacies of overclocking uh, yep. this extreme processor. So, uh, in our last video, we announced that we were going to use our brand new F131 for this uh, extreme rig challenge. So, we talked about how this was the first time that we've ever designed the liquid cooling in tandem with the chassis so that it was fully integrated into the system. So I think we should probably start with the core of this, which is, which is Apex. So here it is. Here's Apex. Uh, this is an in-house cooling system that we've designed ourselves. And um, there's a whole lot of thought and engineering that goes into Apex. Everything from the materials used to its functionality to even the dual pumps. I'll let Ron get into the details, the itty bitty details of Apex, but there's nothing like it in the market. And uh, we're excited that this is going to be part of uh, the Extreme Rig Challenge uh, system. So Apex is the industry's first fully integrated cooling system. And with Apex, we're able to take all of the secret sauce that we've had over the years in our own liquid cooling and build it into a single product that not only reduces the footprint, but increases the efficiency. So at the base, Apex is a, a massive reservoir, which means it's very low maintenance. Uh, it has our dual pump system, which allows the pumps themselves to run at a slower speed more efficiently, so they run quiet, and also for redundancy. It has a flow meter, so you can see how quickly the coolant is flowing through the loop itself. It has a temperature sensor, so we're able to control the fan speed uh, and the pump speed based on the coolant temperature. The block itself is also a pressure-regulated parallel cooling system. So what that means is that we're able to split the coolant off the radiators separately into the CPU and the GPU to increase efficiency so hot water from one isn't going into the next. So essentially, let me pause you there for a second. We don't get recycled warm water into the GPUs or the CPU. So the CPU and the GPUs get chilled water at the same time. Exactly. It's all about efficiency. Exactly. And, and this is pressure regulated to make sure that the flow rates are even. We're going to get nerdy here for a second. 
But by engineering this in house, we were able to make sure that the pressure was balanced between the two outputs to make sure it was very efficient into the actual individual parts in the loop itself. It also has a pressure release valve built in that allows us to drain the system instantly. Uh, now, so it's easy to service, absolutely. it's very efficient in cooling, and because of the Apex design and engineering, we're able to uh, create this really powerful system in such a small package. Yep, yep, so Apex is at the core, but then at the table in front of us is, really when you look at it, you, I can't believe this all fits in a computer, but this is the amount of stuff that goes into our liquid coin. Over 70 fittings, I counted them myself. Over 70 <laughs> fittings on this table right here, that's just to build a single computer. Yeah, and, and this is an extreme rig challenge, right? This is a, a beefy, expensive, extreme PC. This is literally almost a thousand or more dollars in fittings alone just to make the system efficient, but also make it really beautiful, which I think is equally important. And there's so much more that I want to talk <laughs> about. There's so much more. Unfortunately, we can't talk about it in this video. Uh, yeah, we, we're going to have to hold some things secret. We don't want the competition to know uh, everything that we're planning for this. But Apex is actually available today in, on Manger.com yep. in the F-131 system. So this is just what we do on a regular basis. But we're, we're taking it up a notch with the We're just kicking challenge. it up, man. We're kicking it up. And those are the things that we're going to reveal later. Uh, just to go over a couple more of the parts. So we have uh, the actual CPU and GPU water blocks. We have an ultra thin copper core radiator. We have our, uh, our, our hard acrylic tubes, uh, really good uh, PWM controlled high static pressure fans, uh, RGB shrouds for those fans. We even have custom uh, nickel plated back plates as well, just to, to up it a little bit more and show off how, how beautiful the inside of the system is. And as you mentioned, all of these things combined is, allowed, is going to allow us to really push the 7980XE to its limits and make this build as, as extreme as possible. To extreme. Super extreme. <laughs> cool, so I, I think that covers everything in this video today. Uh, so you're gonna have a chance to win one of these amazingly epic PCs. Uh, if you wanna vote for Main Gear in the Extreme Rig Challenge, you just need to go to rigchallenge.intel.com, click on Main Gear and click vote. You can also tweet my vote goes to the hashtag Intel Extreme Rig Challenge and then at Main Gear. Uh, there'll be instructions on the screen as well. Uh, and, and you know, keep following us. We'll be posting more updates. And you're going to see, like, as well said, honestly, we have some crazy extreme things planned. We have a huge surprise for the F-131 the one build. We have the one, one more, more thing, thing. And uh, I just can't wait to unveil it. Absolutely. Thank Vote for guys. us. Thank you for participating. Oh.